Good morning, dear students. Welcome again to our Earth and Life Science video lesson. Today, let's discuss about the Earth's internal heat under the quarter one, module six. After this video lesson, you are expected to describe the parts and function of Earth's interior and describe where the Earth's internal heat comes from. Heat energy plays a vital role in our planet. It is one of the extreme factors that makes our world livable. If you think of a volcano, you know our Earth is very hot. Our planet's internal heat shifts continent, creates mountains, and produces earthquake. But where does all this heat inside the Earth originate? Before we proceed to the source of heat, let's have a short review of layers of the Earth. Planet Earth has three main layers. These are the crust, the mantle, and core. Crust is the outermost layer of the planet. The crust of the Earth is composed of a great variety of igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary rocks. The crust is underlain by the mantle. The mantle is the layer of the Earth that lies between the crust and core. The mantle is a very thick and mixed up of most of the entire planet. The mantle is composed of a very hot, dense rock and is termed as magma. Because of the high temperature with the mantle, the rock is kept in a semi-liquefied state. The Earth's core is divided into two parts, the inner core and outer core. Inner core and the outer core are made up of similar stuff both are made mostly of iron and a little nickel and some other chemical elements. The difference, the main difference between the two is that the outer core is liquid and the inner core is solid. Source of heat in our planet can be identified as primordial and radiogenic heat. Primordial heat was generated during initial formation of Earth. The major contribution of this internal heat is the accretional energy, the energy deposited during the early formation of a planet. The core is a storage of primordial heat that originate from times of accretion when kinetic energy of colliding particles was transformed into thermal energy. Radio Heat is the heat generated by the decay of radioactive isotopes of the element. The thermal energy released as a result of spontaneous nuclear disintegration. It involves the disintegration of natural radioactive elements inside the earth such as uranium, thorium, and potassium. There are three processes that can transfer heat. These are the conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction processes happen in the Earth's surface and it directs the thermal settings in all entire solid portion of the Earth and plays a very important role in the lithosphere. Conduction carries heat from the Earth's core and radiation from the sun to the Earth's surface. When the atmosphere in normal temperature contacts with the warm surfaces of the land, it transfers thermal energy. Then, it will heat up the rest of air through convection. Convection is the transfer of heat by the movement of mass and is more effective mode of heat transport in the earth than pure conduction. Convection dominates the thermal condition in zones with significant amount of fluid or molten rock and thus governs the heat transport in the fluid outer core and the mantle. Radiation is the least important mode of heat transport in the planet Earth. The process of heat exchange between the Sun and the Earth is through radiation. It controls the temperature of the Earth's surface. Inside the Earth, radiation is significant only in the hottest part of the core and the lower mantle. When the land and water become warm in summer, it emits long wavelength infrared radiation that is readily absorbed by the atmosphere. This picture 
shows the process of conduction and how air molecules come in contact with the warmer surface of the land or ocean, resulting to the increase of its thermal energy through conduction. The thermal energy of the core is transferred to the surface of the earth and the lower levels of ocean by conduction. This picture shows a convection cell. As you can see, warm material rises and the cool material sinks. These cold materials will eventually turn to land formation. In mantle convection, the heat source is the core. The core of the earth is very hot. It is nearly as hot as the surface of the sun, about 6,000 degrees Celsius. Convection current is relevant to the movement of tectonic plate because the heat builds up pressure underneath the crust or the tectonic plates. As they become unstable, they push against each other and rise upwards or one goes under the other.